Kevin, from with you and Paul, um, you guys had said you expected this to be an emotional night, but how would you describe the way that things played out here this evening? <clears throat> uh, this is uh, over the top. <laughs> um, uh, Doc had hit us two days ago, two days ago or something. And uh, I think I had some reporters ask me about um, you know, what was the expectations coming back here before the Dallas game, and I didn't want to be thinking about things when I had another game to uh, to play. And this was just uh, the one word that comes uh, to, to mind is just uh, unbelievable. I didn't expect anything like that, you know, for myself. Um, shows the first class, uh, shows the type of organization that this is and the appreciation of the organization for you. And uh, I couldn't put it into words. Um, you know, Paul and I was joking before the game, you know, who was going to tear up and drop a tear. And, you know, I had lumps in my throat and I kept it under control and I tried to focus as much as I could on the game and not take away from it. But, man, this is, this is over the top. Um, I couldn't put that into words. <coughs> Um, I was telling the Kevin, I was telling everybody, you know, this is the, this is the toughest game I ever had to play. Right. Um, uh, tougher than any championship game, any game seven. Right. Uh, this game was just so hard to really just focus and really concentrate on, on what was at hand. Uh, at the end of the day, we had a game to play, but it was so hard to really focus. Right. I saw so many friends, right. so many people I've known for years. Ugly cornbread Maxwell back there. <laughs> my man, my man, man, man. <laughs> it was just hard to really get into, you know, a routine. You have a routine when you come and you get ready for a game, and it was just, you just never settled in. It just, you just thought about the times, the friendships, the relationships. It was just, then you get shower with love throughout the whole game. You look up, you see so many Kevin jerseys, my jerseys, so many posters. It's every every second you're on the bench, every second during the game, people are calling your name. It, it was really tough for me to focus today. Uh, you know, I'm happy we got it over with. And I can go back to playing basketball. Right. Kevin, can you just up here? Can you just tell us what you did when you stole the ball from Rondo? Picked off Rondo's pass there. Well, I knew they was trying to run a pick and roll, and Rondo was trying to get a three. I knew they needed a three at that point. Uh, just played the passing lane. It took me two days to get the layup up. <laughs> I thought I was going to get caught there for a minute, but you know, I uh, uh, got it still. Put the ball in front of me and uh, and got a layup. You know, like Paul said, I'm, I'm glad we came in here and got a win. Uh, a lot of distractions, a lot of, but it was a good distraction. It just felt good to be showered and, and for the city to uh, show the appreciation. Nonetheless, the organization, man, is you, know, you give yourself. People always say that players can you can be too loyal. I don't I don't believe that. I really believe like a city like Boston is worth it. <clears throat> and, and tonight's is just the epitome of all that. Uh, for both of you guys, from the time you arrived here, what was your time here like? Just in terms of seeing people, maybe bumping into people on the street, that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, we didn't really bump into anybody in the street, but we had a chance to go have dinner with Rondo last night. Just talk to him, you know, about his, his situation here and things we went through. Uh, we were in his situation before, so uh, it was good to good to see him. You know, to really, you know, that's pretty much the only guy uh, we had a chance to see. Um, other than that, I just tried to really focus and get back into the hotel and, and try to get some rest and couldn't think about nothing but today, really. Right. Uh, you know, it was even hard for me to sleep. Uh, just playing in a downtown hotel in Boston when I'm used to being in my house, uh, getting into the arena, coming through, through the backside, making a left instead of a right. Um, just everything was so different, and it was just, it was, it, it was, it was great though. It, it was great to be here. Hey Kevin, just describe what that was like. Uh, you know, to, to kind of concur with Paul said, uh, it really didn't hit me uh, until I got to see Edward Cert. You know, Jeff Twist, I got to see all the guys who made our stay worth it. Phil Lynch, Johnny Joe, you know, um, all those guys, uh, Vladimir Shulman, Brian Du, all those, the guys, the people who really don't know, but make this whole thing go around. You know, you see the, like Paul said, man, you see the endless friendships as you walk through the place, the security guards, the, the ball boys, everybody, man, that, that, that shows the appreciation, man. It was, 
How far the hardest the hardest day uh, that I've had to focus. This is this is bigger than Minnesota. Even when I went back to Minnesota, it wasn't like this. Hey guys, for each of you, while while those videos were playing, for each of you, what was going through your minds? Or what were the thoughts that were running through your head at, at those individual times? <clears throat> Just all the great moments. I mean, uh, from on the court to off the court. Just all the great moments. That's all you can think of. Um, you know, that's pretty much what the videos kind of like show. I mean, just everything that just me being in the community, uh, uh, the difference I was able to make, not only on the court but in the community. And you you build so much. Uh, you know, not only in the court but like in in the community. You know, I have relationships with organizations in the community that I built. Uh, been able to change different lives, uh, be an inspiration in this community. And uh, a lot of that just you thought about. You know, I've seen uh, a lot of the kids I brought to games. Uh, you know, and, that, and that's what I think matters the most to me, to just the, the lives you can change. You know, uh, the basketball is great. And understanding you're a role model, it made me think of that, uh, just being an inspiration in, in the community here. And how, how did this atmosphere tonight compare to, say, a playoff game? Or, you know, how would you guys compare it to, you know, some of the biggest moments that you guys have had in this building? This is, this is, this is not even close. This is not even close. You know, the impact of uh, people and how much you've impacted their lives as <clears throat> not just kids but grown-ups. Uh, just the culture here, you know. When you come here, the first thing Jeff Twist tells you, he takes you through the, the, the library, which shows you all the history here, and you feel that. You feel that responsibility. And uh, to come back here and be shower like this, it's not even close. Not even close.